Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is the first video of my channel and I intend to provide a teaser on the genre of the content that you can expect as we build this channel together. The topic for the teaser is Five Kingdom Classification. Do you know who proposed this classification? Well, it was R. H. Vitaka in the year 1969. Now let's understand the criterion on which this classification was based. These are three basic points. The first and the foremost one being the cell structure of the organism, the next being the body structure of the organism and finally the mode of nutrition of the organism. Based on the above criteria, Vitaka categorized the living world under five distinct kingdoms. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Pratista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. Let's dive deeper into each of these kingdoms. Kingdom Monera derived from a Greek word Monos, which means single. All organisms of this kingdom are single-celled or unicellular, with most primitive and the simplest organisms on earth. They have a prokaryotic cell. What does that mean? The diagram at the center of the screen shows a prokaryotic cell. The nucleus is ill-defined without a nuclear membrane. Some of its representatives have flagella for locomotion. The cell wall is present which is made up of a protein called peptidoglycan. Some of the representatives can be spherical called cocci, others rod-shaped called bacilli and the last spirillium in a spring form. The mode of nutrition for the representatives of Monera are either autotrophic or heterotrophic. Coming to the next kingdom is Pratista. The Greek word Pratista means first. They are the first of the eukaryotic cell types. Now what is this eukaryotic cell? Eukaryotic cell is a cell with a well-defined nucleus having a nuclear membrane. All organisms basically are unicellular with an exception of Pandorina. The mode of nutrition can be either autotropic or heterotropic. The next is kingdom fungi. They are metazoans or multicellular. Fungi's distinguishable features are that most of them being multicellular as for example mushrooms and many more but it also has unicellular representative like yeast. All the cells are eukaryotic types that is with a well-developed nucleus. Their mode of nutrition is heterotropic usually lacking chlorophyll that's why they cannot carry on with photosynthesis. The cell walls are made up of chitin. Most of them are saprophytes as seen in mushroom or parasites as in the case of microsporium. Next up is the kingdom of plantae. Plantae are multicellular with a cellulose cell wall. Their mode of nutrition is generally autotropic with few exceptions who are parasitic like Nepanthus. Plantae can be divided into vascular plants or non-vascular plants. Vascular plants possess well-formed xylem and phloem thereby they also have outrightly developed 
root, stems and leaves. The non-vascular plants do not have xylem or phloem. Neither do they have well-formed roots or stems or leaves. There is another category of classification for plantae depending upon the presence of flowers or seeds. They can be cryptogams or phanerogams. When they do not bear flowers and seeds, they are categorized under cryptogams. Under cryptogams, we have thallophyta, whose body looks like a thallus, an undifferentiated mass. Example, Olga. Bryophytes do have a structure where it is not true roots, not true stems, not true leaves. They do have a structure which looks like rhizoids, phyllids in the body. Comes to the last, the pteridophyta. These pteridophytes do have leaves but in the form of leaflets. The undersurface of the leaves bears spores. Comes to the flowering and the seed bearing plants. These are the gymnosperms and the angiosperms. The gymnosperms are naked seeded plants while the angiosperms have covered seeds inside the fruits. They are the most developed among the kingdom plantae with all developed structures from the root to the stem and finally to the leaves. Even the seeds can be either single cotyledonous or called monocotyledonous or it can be dicotyledonous. Finally, we come over to the kingdom of Animalia. All organisms are multicellular. The cell is without a cell wall. Neither does it contain chlorophyll or chloroplasts. That is why they all are heterotropic in their nutrition. You, me and all these organisms that you can see on the screen are the representatives of the kingdom Animalia. With this, I conclude today's session but would take the opportunity to sincerely thank you for visiting my channel. I would like to request you to kindly like my video, subscribe to my channel and share my lectures with your friends and relatives. Please post your doubts or any queries that you have in the comment box. If you want that I need to specify any special topic, you can always write that down in the comment box and I will attend to it as soon as possible. Please stay tuned for detailed videos that will be reaching soon. Thank you.